All red is, is firemen, and all the blue and those types of things are police. Oh, well, that's what's and up. Green for military, and... Is there a Black Lives Matter one? No, I don't do that. I just keep myself out of that, that loop. <laughs> you just kept yourself out of like the whole Black yeah. Lives Matter loop? Yeah, because I don't want a retail store that causes anybody stress. That was a gift shop owner who just pulled all the crap down from the attic and relabeled everything quirky curiosities. And I'm assuming Trump orange was the flag color that escaped her memory. She's playing this little not gonna touch BLM with a 10 foot pole and sell their gear out of respect for her emotionally fragile customers. That's rich. Right wingers don't give left wingers any space for feelings. They just insult us first with their ignorance over the meaning of socialism. But she doesn't want to get political? Everything's political and she knows that. I want to know who's getting stressed out by BLM. What is so god dang inflammatory about recognizing black people or people? She's just thinly veiling how she really feels about black people taking a moment to ask us if we care about them. The more political things, it's just best to stay out of it. Yeah, BLM's a little too political. Well, I think so. I can tell what, side, which, what you do. <laughs> what, 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 what do you think I do? Well, because you keep pushing I... the BLM, and I'm thinking, so you must be in very much in support of it. Very much in support of yeah. it, yeah. Like, it's, it's the best. Yeah, it is the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, the cringe. Oh, <laughs> nervous laugh. I, I guess you're one of those types who cares about black people. Frankly, the kid's response sounded like Kenny Banya talking about his favorite swordfish dish. It's the best, Jerry. The best. Yeah, it is the best. But this shop owner is playing coy with him. What is so hard about expressing your judgment if you're so dang proud of it? Outright racism is a monster in and of itself, but when it's validated through coded language and polite standoffishness, that's insidious and dangerous if impressionable minds hear and believe it. It's also frustrating that BLM can't be discussed with anyone on the right. The point is so simple. Cops aren't treating encounters with black people, especially black men, with dignity and rational thinking. The right just creates all this junk talk that we on the left have to navigate through just to get to the conversation. Yes, individually, a cop can be good, but when he or she joins a brotherhood that looks out for each other exclusively, groupthink creeps in, minds get poisoned, and worse, numb to the black deaths by cop. Antifa and BLM are not the same thing. Fry em like pigs is not leftist universal battle cry. Yes, defund the police is not feasible in a society that fetishizes guns. Yes, more black people are targeted by cops relative to their total population. We can't talk about any reality-centered solutions. Here's another reason why. I don't do it. I don't have um, items in here that can cause any problems. What exactly is uh, this? Sambos. No BLM stuff, but we got Sambos in here? Or? BLM. Something that says BLM. This does not indicate BLM. It's not a BLM. I've lived all over the world. I love the nationalities. Yes, Karen, that does not indicate a BLM, as she said so emphatically. That is a Sambo doll. They're recognized by their bright red lips, googly eyes, curly hair, and dark fabric. Sambo is a derogatory term used from the Reconstruction era to the Jim Crow era to describe people of African descent. The Sambo character comes from a book called Little Black Sambo, written by a white woman about an Indian boy. Now, the character was quickly made shades darker and turned into a fill-in slave for white people at dinner parties. You can see a manipulated doll called Dancing Sambo here, who is characterized as lazy but obsequious and fun at your parties. Being sold as something that is easy to work, cannot break, and is worth 25 cents just as white owners were able to buy slaves and use them in any way they wanted for very little money during the era of slavery. Toy and game companies were using Sambo as a caricature target. And today, Etsy and eBay sellers are calling the dolls folk art and vintage. 
How can we stop normalizing racism when it's still profitable and a good chunk of the population doesn't care about its lengthy American history? Sometimes it feels like it's a Sisyphean task. 